here we go. Today I'm building a 30 foot, six foot high fence, right? And I'm gonna show you the easiest, the quickest, and the best way of building it. I've been building fences and erecting fences about 30, 40 years now. So um, I'm gonna show you the tools of the job, which are most important. You can't do it if you haven't got these tools, right? You want a decent spade. It's gotta be a very strong spade, otherwise you're gonna break it. Um, you want, for every post you're gonna put in, I'm putting in five, uh, six posts um, today. And so for every post you want one of these bags of post mix concrete, about four quid from B&Q. Then you want a decent, and I'm talking about decent, we're talking about a bit of money here for a Stanley level. You need a good level, otherwise forget about doing the job. You want a lip saw, for doing bits and pieces. You want a club hammer and a normal hammer, and most importantly, you want a tape measure, which is gonna be more, more than six foot. Um, right, and here's the main baby. It's um, a skill saw, or some people call it a circle saw. You want a bucket of bought one, and you want Step one of the first things you want to do, apart from having a cup of tea, is define the boundary. So here, I've just used any old string. I don't know if you can see that. I've nailed it to the fence, and I've put a bit of string, and then run it all along to the other edge. Next job is cut a piece of wood, exactly the width of the fence you're using. So then, um, you mark, I've already, I've already put in two posts, um, so you mark the centre of that one, and it's roughly going to be there. So you want to start digging round about there. And I've got eight foot posts, six foot high fence. So what do I need to do? dig? Dig down, do two feet. Too much up here, look. I know, there look. Oh, it's just ideal for exactly the right shape. Oh, you want just the width of the shovel. Yeah, that way, that way, and that way. So you want it roughly square. With the shovel. So the dimensions of the shovel is where you want to dig the hole. Try and get as square as you can. And what I do, get as much dirt as I can. Now with my hand. Just using my hand, be careful of any like, broken glass or crockery. So I'll just do it with my hand. To get out near the last topic, it's a bit difficult otherwise. The shovel, because you're doing such a narrow hole. Right, so there's my measuring post. There's my measuring bit of wood, roughly two foot in the ground. So what you want to do now is make sure it's level. Now that's, that's not bad. And um, it don't matter if it's slightly, slightly out because uh, when you pour the concrete in, you can adjust it, as long as it's not too much out. And it's, and le it's got to be level this way as well. So level both ways. That's perfect, that is. It's just slightly out of the string, the arm of the string, but that don't matter. So now what you want to do now is bang it down. That's what, where you need the club hanger. Uh, but you're going to get your measuring stick and that, put it, place it on the ground. That's where the bottom of the fence is going and go up to here. Now, oh, really. now, that's not, now the post is slightly higher, which you want. So now I'm going to bang that into the ground and get it level with the measuring stick. So I'll get on the old step ladders. Get the old club hanger out. And then I'm just going to give it a whack. Well, I'm not going to give it a hard whack because I'm holding the iPad. The iPad Pro, which, uh, which was a gift. The iPad Pro I'm filming this on. So I'm just going to give it a whack. Now, I wouldn't, I'd normally give it a hard whack and hold it with my other hand, but I can't. So there you go. Straighten it up again and put it down like that. So if you get my drift, you want to whack it down. And let's see the measuring stick. Oh, let's get the measuring stick up against there. Has it gone down? Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's what I call class, eh? So now let's go for it once more. That's a level. So make sure it's exactly the same distance from the post. There, we measure stick, measure upwards, and then get your level. I've wedged four bits of wood there just to hold it until I pour the concrete in. You can use any old bits of wood, don't matter. And just to get it level, see? to do it not on a windy day but today is a bit don't know if you're experienced like me then it don't matter um, now what I've done is I've made a slight mistake there it's slightly twisted um, you've got your well, not of these you use your eye so you just want to twist that back so it's square with that string so it's got to be square with a string there we go well now that post is exactly where it should be it's square it's upright perfectly upright on both all sides. So now what we're going to do, we're going to pour in the concrete. So, 
No need to jump, don't need a knife, just stab it with a shovel. Stab, 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 stab. It'll go in. Just pour, you know what just pour a little bit in. Just pour a little bit in for now. And get a stick and just poke it down. Pour about a quarter of the bag in first. Pat that and then pour the whole lot in. Try not to feed the stuff in because it's dangerous. Stand with the wind, uh, so the wind takes it away from you, not in your face. Very dangerous, this stuff. So now I've put most of it in, and then you've got... So I've now got three fence posts up. Uh, and it's time to start putting the fences in. Stick and I'm letting the pour the water in. I just do about that much. So it lays on the surface for a little while. And I'll get the old stick. And I'm gonna do that bit on. And you don't want to put too much water in, but you don't but you don't want to not put enough in. So you know just a good old slosh. So as long as it goes down there. That's what I call solid. Three drill, four off, one there, one there, one there and one there up there, so four holes. Right, I'll it up, and this is where your measuring stick comes in, very handy. And also, a good use of the step ladder stuff before away, although the post on that side is, but I forgot to add, you definitely need one of these. So now, what we're going to do, is we're going to screw this baby in. As long as it's going, it goes in about half. half. So yeah, it's going to go in half. So you want three inch screws, you can even get away with four inch screws. I've just built a six foot high fence, 30 foot long. Well there we go. Thanks for watching everyone. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button, because that's what gives me more views. And I can do some more fabulous videos. Fantastic, eh? It's a six foot high fence, 30 foot long. Just got to add a little bit there. All right then, I'm off to have a nice cup of tea, and I will see you another time. Ten off an L. Hey!